Hi everybody, Flick here from Sleep Valley Fitness and it's great to be back with you, bringing you this under 10 minute stretching workout. As a professional dancer, I'm often asked how to get flexibility and suppleness into the body and why it's useful. And this workout is gonna hopefully answer some of those questions because it's gonna open up the hamstrings into the lower back and the inside thighs. Those of you that want to attempt splits, you'll be able to after this workout as well, listening to your bodies, please. Why do we need to be flexible? We need suppleness and flexibility because as we age, our bodies get tighter, stiffer, and we want our joints to be supported. So flexibility and mobility really keeping us young. So grab your mats and let's do this. Okay, we're gonna start with nice wide legs, toes forward, heels back, pull the tummy to the spine, open across the chest, slide your shoulders down your back, take a breath in. And take a breath out. Okay, here we go. Take a plie. Sweep the arms up. Find them to fit. Open to a high release, so lifting gently through the front of the throat, turning the palms, releasing the arms down. Again, plie lift up to fit. Take a high release. Open across the chest, turn the palms, and squeeze them down. Let's move a little bit quicker. Here we go. Take a plie, swing. High release. Turn those palms. Again, plie, swing. High release. Getting some blood flow around the body, oxygenating the muscles, and last time, good, high release. This time, please, hold your fit. Beautiful, turn those toes out, find your second position, high release, and lower. Again, slow it down, find fit. Good, find your high release, open from those fingertips, pull the part, and lower down, give me four more this spin, please. Lift up, high release, squeeze down, three more. High release, try to breathe, try to relax, the toes into the right, you don't want to grip, you don't want to clench. Last one. Good, hold this one at the top, breathe here. You to turn one foot, face the side of your room. Press that back foot down. Move your arms in fifth, try to pull up through your kneecaps, hip bones forward. Breathe in, breathe out, reach the body forward. You're trying to get a long, flat back until the last possible moment where you can touch your fingers either side of your front foot. Now bend your front knee. Bend it as much as you need to. Just feel that lovely compression into that front hip and the stretch along the back leg. You're going to start to pull that knee up, and as you do, you're going to lift your back heel to a deadly point. So you're really working into those toes, hands on the floor as much as you need. Now breathe out, and as you do, can you lower your back heel and lower your nose to your shin? We're going to work these movements in one sequence. Bend your front knee, one. Lift your back heel, press high. Lower your back heel, lower your nose to your shin. And again, please bend your front knee, one. Lift your back heel, so it's moving in one continuous circle. Lower your back heel, lower, nose to shin. Again, bend your front leg. Lift your back heel, find that high demi point. Tummy in, lower and lengthen. This time, as you bend your knee and extend your leg behind you, walk it back. Dropping your knee and your shin to the floor, don't dump into your back hip. Good, take your hands to your thigh. Lift up nice and tall, and then take your hands to fit. Give me that high release, and let's take these swoops here. So we take it forward. High release, turn the palms. Again, swoop. Open. And release, again, release. Really stretching to that back hip. Again. High release. Good, well done. Here it comes, hands to the floor. Tuck your toes, lift your back knee, walk to face me. Let's work on the inside of the thighs. So elbow into knee, flex this foot, and feel that lovely deep stretch into the inside thighs. Good. As you stretch the foot, feel that leg getting longer. Beautiful. Flex it again. Stretch. Well done. We're going to come halfway up, turn our toes in, and take everything on the second side. Okay, so we're re-establishing a nice wide second position. Take a breath in and straight away, sweep the arms up. Find that high release. Again, reaching those fingers, perhaps going a little deeper into a combre and lowering those palms down. Again, sweep. Find high release. Turn down. Three more. Good. Really draw the 
those shoulders down the back. Open. Good, last time. This time, hold in your feet. Lift up out of your waist. Turn your toes out. Find second position. Reach and find that high release. And bring those arms down. We're going to take these a little deeper now, second time round. I want a deeper plie as you sweep the arms down and up to fifth. Here we go. Let's go. We go deep. Find your high release. Again, rushing the floor but not letting that tailbone stick out. Two more. Deep into that plie. Good, last one. We're going to catch at the top. Breathe. Turn those toes. Sway yourself to your second side. Toes forward, heels back. Now pull the tummy in, hip bones forward, lift out of the spine, and get a long flat spine to the point where when you need to, fingers touch the floor, and you're gonna bend your front knee, good. Hold it here. Gentle compression into this front hip. And then from here, we're gonna lift that back heel as we start to draw up. Find your demi point and then lower that back heel and you're aiming for your nose to your knee. It might feel different on this side. And let's put this into a sequence. Bend your front leg, lift your back heel, lower your back heel, melt. Again, bend your front leg forward, lift. Nice high hips, melt and lower, breathe out. Again, find your fondue, one, lift. So we're really working a deep stretch onto this front hamstring, as well as the back leg. Last time, lift up, high W point, lower and melt. Take a breath. This time, bend your front leg. Extend your back leg far behind you, but your knee and ankle stay in line of your front leg. Drop the knee, release those toes. Place the hands upon your thigh, and then take those hands up to fit. Take your high release, here we go. One, fit, high release, shoulders down, again. Again, so we're not dumping into that front leg, we're not dumping into that back hip. High release, maybe goes a little deeper. Good, high release. Well done, here we go. Hands either side, tuck your toes. Walk your hands in front, turn to face me. And then using gently this elbow to guide this knee back, flex this foot. Feel that deep stretch now on the inside thighs. I'm going to lengthen the leg a little further. Stretch it. And flex. Again, stretch. Good, and this time stretch. Walk back to centre. Toe healing and start to uncurl. Chin to chest, shoulders to your ears. And if that's enough for you, that's great. Or join me to practice some splits. Okay, we've worked into both legs, two very crucial areas that uh, we need to think about when we're taking our front splits. So it's not just your front leg being flexible in your hamstring, and it's not just your back leg being flexible across the front of the hip. We need both of those things to be working and that little sequence has opened up those areas. So if you're joining me now, let's try this split together. So let's take one of those movements that we've already used. So we we're stepping with our front foot forward and our back leg in a parallel position. And we're taking that little deep squeeze down into your front leg, lifting the back leg up onto your demi points and then melting down, squeezing. Now this time as you come forward, we're extending that, that back leg back. Make sure you've got room on your mat. <laughs> and then dropping the leg, and here it comes. So we've really opened up through the back hip, and we're hopefully feeling nice and open in that front leg. Start to walk your front leg forward, shuffle your toes, and equal your weight into either hand, either side of you. Arm strength is important here. Take a breath in, lift up, press into your arms, and as you sliding down with your breath out, you can start to ease yourself down into your front split. Remember, these things take time, don't expect them to happen overnight. Each body is different, everybody is different. We have a program, a split, split stretch program in our Sleep Belly Fitness app, which will help you get into your splits 
if this feels like it's not enough. <laughs> Great job. So rolling round to come out of it. Squeeze those legs underneath you. And then let's just tuck those toes under. Lift up and roll up. Let's take that on the second side. So both sides obviously won't be exactly equal. What we want to think about is creating balance in the body. As dancers, we always have a stronger side and a weaker side, and that's normal in us as people as well. But we're kind of trying to create some strength in our weaker side and some flexibility in our stronger side. So let's try that. So we're coming forward, hands either side, and then just lifting up, melting into that lovely stretch. And that really opens that front leg. And then as we come forward, we're really opening that back leg. Again, releasing down, releasing those toes. Hands come either side and start to shuffle forward with that front leg. So I really like to use my arm strength to make sure that I'm not going to dump into anything. I'm not going to drop into a split. We want to move in and out, slowly listening to our bodies. And of course, again, you will feel different on one side to the other. Creating balance takes time and that just takes practice. And this sequence will help you with that. Breathe in and breathe out. And then to come out, rock to one side. And I'm going to stay sitting cross-legged. So I hope you enjoy that. You can do that workout every day, either on its own, or you can add it at the beginning or the end of a workout. It's a gentle workout on your body. And as I say, designed for those of you that want to practice splits to help you with that. We have lots more on our Sleep Ballet Fitness app, from stretching workouts, full on ballet boot camp workouts, and then targeted abs, upper body, lower, and cardio workouts, all dancer inspired, all very sleek. And I hope to see you very soon. Have a great day.